As Americans get this, spend an average of 100 minutes every day in their cars, obviously some more than others, but a host of safety features aim to protect us while driving, but is there one crucial one that's missing? Did you know that people tend to have more sun damage on the left side of their faces compared to the right? Could your car be to blame? Researcher Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler set out to find the truth that could be glaring right at us. UV radiation from the sun is associated with about 90% of all skin cancers. The question is, if you're in your car with the windows closed, are you really protected from these dangerous rays? Dr. Walkler took his UV reader and tested windows in 29 automobiles from 15 manufacturers, and the findings aren't all that sunny. I've, of, I've often thought about this, driving along on a big road trip, and it's almost like you can see the left side of your body singeing in the sun about an hour or two in, and you're kind of you're alone in the car, and you're kind of looking around to see if you have sunscreen, and you don't, and you're like, yeah. Screw it. But then by the end well, of the you're burnt. Well, Dr. Yeah. Botra and I have seen this in, in our practices, and Absolutely. I'm sure they teach this fact now that in America, driving on the left-hand side, your left-hand side is going to be exposed to more U yeah, UV six light. six times more UV radiation. And we've seen it, like, after any type of procedure, a peel or a laser or something, and they come in, and they go, well, why is my left left-hand side so dark and the other side's doing so well? You know, I, I didn't realize at first, but now we, we know that Well, it's, I think yeah, there's I a wanna... common misconception that glass actually filters UV, but it only filters the smaller, the UVB wavelength of light. Mm -hmm. UVA penetrates glass, and so that's where they're getting all this damage. And I'm glad we're talking about this because we falsely assume that we are protected. We have Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler join us because you actually conducted a study on these windows and found some scary things. This was a breakthrough study, and I was shocked by the results because we all assumed, myself included, that if you're in your car, you feel like you're in your fortress of solitude, right? Like you're protected, you're in your car. But we actually found that the side windows of most cars really had poor UV protection against those rays from the sun. And that's why the dermatology studies have shown over and over again that there's more skin cancer and now ophthalmology studies have shown there's more cataracts on the left side. And this is, I think, the reason why we're seeing that. It, How isn't you... that in fact what, what sort of prompted you to do this study that, you've, that you noticed that cataracts occur more in the left? And... I was examining a patient who had a condition unrelated called keratoconus, but I noticed that she had some more age spots on one side of her face and that actually got the wheels turning. And that's what led me to do the study. So say I'm, I'm in the market for a new car. How could I possibly know if the windows on this car, whether they're tinted or not, because the tinted doesn't necessarily mean better UV protection. How do you know if you're buying a car that's safer? Well, the first thing to recognize is that we didn't find any correlation between high-end luxury cars and lower-end cars in terms of more protection. Hmm. So. Because of that, number two is if you're going to buy a car, you need to specifically ask your dealer, what is the amount of UV protection on the side windows? And don't rest until they give you an answer, basically. Another thing you can do is you can get a meter, uh, a little card that can test the UV from the sun and you can hold it up to, you know, outside, it usually turns purple, there's a little white strip on the card and that just tells you how much UV is there just outside, then hold it up to your windshield, which blocks almost all the UV, and it'll probably turn a little light pink, and that's normal, and then go up to your side window. If it turns any shade of purple, I tell my patients, then you have a problem with your car and you should get a clear film, non-tinted, that blocks all the UV. Forgive me, but isn't it a bit absurd that in the year 2016, car windows don't have UV protection? A little bit. I don't but, understand but, well, this. they're I, saving can... a little bit of money not doing it uh, at the factory. Well, and they have partial protection. I mean, there's not zero in the side windows, but it's just not, it's not like the windshield, which be. is virtually 95, 98% UV but, block. But it's fascinating, like to your point, it's, it's cheap to get UV film. If you're willing to do it yourself, it's less than $20. It can be a couple hundred dollars if you take it somewhere professional, but I think one of the things that always surprises my patients is what you said. Tinted windows don't necessarily protect you from UV.